Hey, this is Jason here from One Hour Forex, and today is December the 14th, 2011. Okay, so let's uh, check out the setups here today. Uh, basically, we had our opening right here at 7 o'clock, which is 2 a.m. in the morning. Okay, uh, I already checked it out with the 15-minute the chart just to see, because I wasn't awake at that time, okay, to see uh, what happened here. It is possible that on the 7 o'clock bar, it opened up, went up a little bit, came back down, um, turned red, then came back up, turned blue, almost hit 3050, came back down and turned red. But it turned red within the first 45 minutes, so there was a sell trade, and the entry was at 3032 or so. And if you held on to it to the close of the bar, you got about 14 pips out of there, which would have been, okay, right here at this low see they they basically took it to this low right here which is support from late yesterday okay so anyway <clears throat> there's a 14 pip winner there okay uh, let me mark this down I'm marking this down this time so we're looking at Wednesday today UK first one was 14 pip win okay just mark that down our second trade of the day was another winner. It was at 3 a.m. And it opened up. I already looked. It came down. It almost hit S1. Came back up, turned blue. Okay? So your entry was at 30.18 or so. And you got about 20 pips on that one. So there's another UK awesome trade. 20 pips. Yes, indeed. Okay. Um, then this candle here. Um... I, I don't believe there was a trade. If there was, well, you had a small loss. But let, let's just go look and see. Okay, I didn't look at it, actually. Let's go look and see. Uh, take the auto scroll off. Now yeah, they're hammering it right back up now off of S1 or S2. Okay, so here's 9 o'clock. Right here. Okay, it opened up. I don't know, probably have to look at a five minute to see what it's done. It's possible it opened up, came back down, turned red. If you got in, you lost three or four pips on it or something, you know. Uh, yeah, or maybe seven pips or something. Um, I, I really don't know. I don't want to look at a five minute under a microscope to see, but it's possible it was a small uh, loser if you did this trade, okay? Um, we'll, we'll count it as a, a six pip loser. Okay, so UK. Even though I don't even know if it is or not. We'll, we'll count it as a loser. Okay. Minus six pips on that baby. Okay. So let's look at the hourly again. And then we're looking at the start of the U.S. session. And here it was right here. And what a... Not a good day here today. It was just going sideways for so long. And then finally it just broke out here uh, late in the U.S. session. Came down a few pips. 35 pips. Now it's coming back up again. Um, so anyway, uh, here's our first trade. Opened up, came up, it touched S1, came back down, turned red. You got, I don't know, three, three, four pips out of that. Um, let's take a gander and see. Yeah, oh, it says six pips. We'll, we'll, we'll say five pips. Okay, then the second trade, which was this one, okay, um, which was at 9 o'clock, okay, basically came down, did a double bottom, came back up, turned blue, okay, and almost hit our S1 target. We got about 16, 17 pips out of that one. Okay, we'll say 16 pips, okay. Now, this right here, okay, it came down. I know we don't see it right now, okay, but it was a losing trade, okay. It, it opened up. It came down. It made a double bottom perfectly, okay, right there. It was, it was a perfect double bottom. Came back up, and it turned blue, and it came back down, turned red, turned blue, turned red, turned blue. Like I said, it was moving so slow, but it gave the signal to buy, okay. So... Okay, it gave the signal to buy. Our target was 12 pips away, and our stop would have been around 19 or 20 pips. 
So we lost 20 pips on that trade today. Okay? Okay. 20 pips loss. So overall for the day, in the UK session, we made 40 pips. And uh, in the US session, we made one pip. <laughs> okay, anyway. That's, that's what happened with that today. Um, that's what happened with all the trades. Okay, so let's uh, quickly take a look at the pound just to see if there's uh, some other setups. Um, I can't go too long into these videos because um, YouTube won't let me. Okay, here's 7 o'clock here. Look, it was doing nothing. I don't know what it did there. Here, okay, um, opened up, came down, made a... Basically, they bought off of here, okay? Turned blue. If you would have got in on this one. First target was 17 pips. Second target was 36. Total potential was 47 to the top. Okay, and then up here, um, I don't know if it turned red. If it did and you got out on the close, you lost a couple pips. And then it came down. Um, now let's look for 1,300. Here's 13. Here's a beautiful trade. Right here on the U.S. session. Man, I should be looking at the pound, maybe, not the euro today. Okay, so your entry would have been right here. Your stop would have been around 17 pips. Got 26 pips to the close. That was the 8 o'clock bar. 9 o'clock bar, mm, I don't know, maybe there was a trade there. Came up, turned blue. If you did, you got out break even. And then this one here, there was no trade at all because, well, I guess there was. Um, it basically, what was support? from yesterday and today now turned into resistance. So it almost came up, touched it, but, 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 ladies and gentlemen, it was only eight pips to S1, so there was no entry there. So if you did sell it, you would have waited for it to, you know, either break S1 by a pip or two or this low of the day, okay? If you did that, say you got into the low of the day and you held it down to here, there's 33 pips down to S2. Cool. Okay, let's take a quick look at the Aussie. Yeah, uh, Aussie, uh, here's here's a beautiful, no, that was after the time. Yeah, it's not looking too good in there. Let's see, let's, what about 8 o'clock? Now, oh yeah, there was a trade here. Um, it was a, one of these jobbies, okay? Came up, bounced off the trend line, okay? Remember I showed you these in the videos if you watched. Turn red, but the only problem was it was too close to S1, so you would have waited for it to go below S1 a pip. Got short, down she goes, okay? There's no trade on this one. Didn't come back up enough to hit the trend line. And this one, it just came down. And that's it. And Swissy, there's probably a few trades in the Swissy. Where, where, where are we now? Uh, 8 o'clock. Oh, I have the setting wrong on this, don't I? One hour four X zero. No, it's supposed to be minus three. There she be. Okay, now we got in the right spot. Okay, so here is seven o'clock. Came down. Yeah, right here was a buy. Boom, nice trade. Right here, boom off R one. Boom was a sell to here. Yeah. And what about the UK session or the US session? No, not much of a trade there. Here, there might have been a bounce off R1 up to 95. There was another one bounce. It was a very small wick, but it shot right up. Look at that. Look at that trade. 28 pips. 48 pips to the close. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, we're still up pips today, and we're definitely up pips for the week. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great, great day.